What's going on guys, welcome to my tutorial in Adobe Premiere Pro CS5. In this video I'm going to show you guys how to work with type. I'm going to select title, new title, and we're going to select the default still. Call this Adobe Easy, and I'm going to select OK. So over here I have my type tool selected, and I'm going to type in Adobe Easy. Over here we have kerning, where you can adjust the space between the characters. On the right hand side it does say kerning also, so you can adjust it if you wanted to. We also have leading. If you're familiar with typography, you know what leading is. But for the people that don't, I'm going to show you. So you see the space between these two lines vertically. And we can bring it up. Or bring it down. And I'm just going to bring it up. So that's fine. If you notice, the background is transparent. If I want to change that, we can put a background color. And let's bring the title over here. And we can adjust the time that the title stays on the timeline. And we can also move this type around. Double click on the title and then move it around to where I wanted it. And we could do something like that. And then you see it goes to the position that I wanted it. Now let me double click on the title over here. And let me show you some different things with the type tool. We can create a custom path. And it's just like the path tool in Illustrator where you can do this. If you want to create a shape, you can do that too. So let me just type in Adobe Easy again. Now the font is kind of boring, so let's look at a little bit more creative font. But you see down here, there's just so many fonts that you can pick from. And then let me adjust the colors. We have the gradient and I can adjust the colors. You can adjust the opacity. You can also adjust the rotation. Now let's say I want to actually make this type move. If we want to, we can come over here to the raw crawl options. Select that. And we're going to select, let's select roll. So you see the type rolls up. And if we wanted the type to go further up, we'll just move it up there. That's it. Say we wanted to move left to right or right to left. We'll go back to the options and let's do a crawl left. We're starting it off the screen, and let's have it move over here. So this time it's moving right to left. So let me just show you here if you want to create some vertical type. Let's just make that a little bit smaller. If you want to duplicate this title, all you have to do is click Control C, Control V, and that way we have two different titles but with the same setup. And then just edit it and change it out. So that's your intro to using type in Premiere Pro CS5. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial and I'll see you guys later. Cheers.